we've in so much into blaming and saying people are wrong and they're stealing money and all these kind of things. And how are we going to bring them to the table when we keep saying those things? Well, America will never be brought to true justice for its crimes. Uh, and America will never be brought to justice uh, because you are exactly right. Uh, they will always run from the issues long as we expose the issues to them. Uh, I believe that this country here will remain to decay until we have an overthrow of the politicians who we have in office now today. We experienced that when we saw the Democratic Party take office. Now we have experienced these same Democrats mistreating us as worse as the people who were placed out of office. I, I thought Barack Obama was new blood. Well, Barack Obama used a powerful message about change. Uh, we come to find out that Barack Obama, like most politicians, he has done nothing, nothing for his change. Not with our criminal justice system, not with our economics, not with our police that are out of control. Barack Obama basically has supported the system on every hand. Two weeks ago, we witnessed the death of Troy Davis, which Barack Obama had an opportunity to step in and to try to correct. Barack Obama did not step in and try to correct. I call this a president that is in office, that has lied to the people, uh, and he has gotten away with his lie. Barack Obama will probably do another four-year term because who do we have to vote for? Could it be that really a man in a presidential office can't ever vote against the banks because something will just screech to a halt and uh, the repercussions will be so great that everybody will be really in uh, very deep pain? Well, in this particular instance, the U.S. government did have an opportunity to correct uh, how this corporate greed was uh, taking place. Barack Obama did give them a sharp tongue whooping, but he still used taxpayer dollars to bail them out, and now the banks are bailed out. We haven't seen no change. We constantly have been inflicted with higher costs on every level. There are, according to the NPR news, there are at least 300 people right in Chicago every week who lose their jobs. When you lose those jobs and this country's economy, we're collapsing and we're collapsing fast.